Hey guys, you are Sue, and today I'm gonna be doing a Lego bootleg minifigure haul. So, in case you don't know it yet, I'm now separating my haul videos into three videos. So, the first one that I have already done is the Lego haul video, and now it's the Lego bootleg minifigure haul. And the last one will continue on with the haul series, which the next one will be haul 20. So, yeah, that's that. For the Lego Bullet Minifigure haul, I'll only be showing all of the minifigures that I got from online that don't have any packaging. And yeah, all of the other box minifigures, I will show it in the normal haul video. So, yeah, let's get straight into the haul. So, I'll start from a single minifigures all the way to one set. Of May figures and most of the figures in this video are all just Zin May figures. So yeah, let's start with the first May figure, which is Iron Man Mark 50 from Avengers Infinity War. That's made by Zin. It is a very detailed figure. Does also come with the jackhammer, and yeah, let's put this right here. And the second May figure is Citizen Steel from Legends of Tomorrow, and yeah, this is made by Zin. So let's put this here. And the third minifigure is Captain Marvel, which this is based off uh, from the set photos that they have. This figure came out before the trailer for Captain Marvel came out, I believe. And this is made by Zin. And the next one, this is Chinese New Year Batman. This is made by Zin, I believe. I forgot, but yeah, I believe this is made by Zin. And yeah. I have showed this figure off in the Chinese New Year video if you uh, have missed that. And I have the Captain Marvel, the accurate Captain Marvel suit that's based off the one from the movie. Uh, this is made by MG, and yeah, the figure here looks really nice. And next one, this is a Vampire Hunter or Vampire Slayer. Uh, from the Chinese movie uh, Mr. Vampire. This is made by the WM. Does have some very nice printed pieces. And the next one, this is made by Zin, Spider Man 2099 from the January Spider Man set. So, yeah. This is uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi Ray. This is made by WM. And, yeah. Next one, this is Jesse Quick from The Flash. This is made by Pogo. And the next one, this is Iron Man Mark 50, a very detailed figure with a very nice mold. He also has a arm cannon. This is made by WM. The next one, this is Tony Stark from uh, Avengers Endgame. This is based off from the set leaks. And yeah, this is made by Lily, and this is made before the trailer came out, and all of the uh, promotional stuff for Endgame came out, so yeah. And next one, this is the Reverse Flash from The Flash, made by Zin. This is Nightmare Batman, made by Lily, and yeah, this part broke off, so that kind of sucks, and yeah. This is Kit Flash from The Flash, made by the Zin. And this is Wasp from the Avengers Infinity War sets, uh, that's made by Zin. And this here, this is Venom from the Venom movie, that's made by Zin. So this here, this is Vulture, made by Zin as well. This is the Vulture from the January Spider-Man sets. So, yeah. This is Call Obsidian, this is by Xing Yuan. And let's put him right here. So this one, this is uh, Pepper Potts in rescue armor and Tony Stark in the shield outfit from Avengers Endgame, made by Zin. This is from Avengers Infinity War. This is Captain America and War Machine. And yeah, these are the two of the best main figures from the set, which is made by Zin. Next one, Tony Stark and Rhodey uh, out of their suit. And yeah, this is made by Zin. So this is the Black Panther main figures. Uh, you have the Chala out of the suit. You have Black Panther with uh, the kinetic energy charged up, and you have Killmonger. So yeah, these are very very detailed figures. 
and yeah they look really nice so these are the Bricktober minifigures um, that's made by Zin so you have a Winter Soldier or the White Wolf you have Wong and you have War Machine and yeah these are based off the Bricktober pack of course so let's put them down here we are going to move on to the bigger set of minifigures so these are the Arrowverse minifigures made by Zin so the first one this is Vibe and second one, this is the Flash, the Season 4 suit. And the next one, this is Doc Archer, I believe, or one of the League of Assassin Assassin. So yeah. And the last one from the same set is Overgirl from the Crisis on Earth X crossover. I'm gonna put this right here and moving on to more Arrowverse minifigures this is made by Zin and yeah this is the green arrow in his uh, season 4 suit this is Mr. Terrific from his uh, season 5 suit or the season 6 suit I I'm not sure and the next one this is White Canary from Legends of Tomorrow this is her season 1 and season 2 suit and she comes with a very long baton and we have Vixen. This is based off from the SDCC minifigure made by Lego. This is Black Canary, the Laurel Lance version. She also has a very long baton. So for the third set of Arrowverse minifigures, we have the Atom from Legends of Tomorrow. This is based off from the uh, SDCC exclusive minifigure. And this is Firestorm from Legends of Tomorrow. This is Supergirl. This is Prometheus. And yeah, this is uh, Prometheus from Season 5. And this is Speedy or Tia Queen uh, in her Arsenal outfit or Speedy outfit. And yeah. And we are moving on to uh, full sets of minifigures. So the first one, this is the Avengers Infinity War set. So you have a uh, Star Lord without his mask piece, and we have Ant Man. This is the Civil War version, I believe, or the Ant Man and the Wasp version. I'm not sure, but yeah. And we have Bruce Banner, and this is the White Wolf or the Winter Soldier and we have Nebula in her Ravager outfit this is the Infinity War version or the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 they are the same I believe and you have Scarlet Witch which she looks really nice you have Thor this is by far the best version of Thor that's made by Zinn yeah all of these they are all Zinn by the way yeah, all these full sets of minifigures. And we have Hawkeye. This is Hawkeye from the comics, not from Infinity War, because he didn't appear in it. So for the next set, this is also from Avengers Infinity War. So we have Iron Man here with his uh, kind of battle damage uh, suit. And yeah, with his injured face. And we have Doctor Strange with quite a lot of accessories and yeah, yeah, you also have the Time Stone and you have Obadiah's theme which is Iron Monger of his suit with a newspaper which is a very nice printed piece and you have Corvus Glaive you have Proxima Midnight you have Black Widow with the green outfit you have Ronin I believe this is based off from the comics. He has the Invincible Iron Man helmet. Lastly, you have Nick Fury. So this is the Iron Man set that's based off from Avengers Endgame. So first one, this is Iron Man Mark 85, the main suit from Avengers Endgame. So you have the Iron Man and Thanos armor. So yeah, this is basically uh, a minifigure version of Thanos wearing uh, the Iron Man suit. So yeah, under there you have 
Thanos. The next figure, this is Iron Man Mark 46. Not sure why. The hands are in gold. It just looks weird. And you have War Machine in uh, the Quantum Realm suit. This is one of the versions that's made by Zinn. These main figures, they are all uh, not from Avengers Endgame. Yeah, this is Iron Man Mark V. This is uh, based off from the main figure that's included in the Hall of Armor set that's in the Avengers Endgame line. And the next one, this is Mark 41 Bones. That's also from the same set. This one, this is Iron Man Mark 1. Last main figure, this is Iron Man Mark 7. Some extra accessories. So, yeah. So that's um, pretty much it for my entire haul. These are all of the main figures that I got and I will review every single one of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to review them in this channel or maybe in my third channel which I have made specifically uh, to review the main figures without uh, me talking. So yeah, that's kind of work in progress. I'm still not sure how to display the main figures, and yeah, I'm working on that. But all of these singer main figures, I will review them in my channel, and yeah, also these uh, kind of bundle main figures, I'll also review them in my channel. And yeah, the full sets of main figures, I will probably review them in my third channel if I can. So I'll put links to my social media pages down in the description and if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.